Hi everybody, welcome to Iconic Estates. I'm Renee D, publisher of Iconic Life Magazine, and I am really excited today to share this beautiful home with you. Four bedrooms, four and a half baths, almost 6,200 square feet. Yes, of course, this one's for sale as well. It's $15 million. But the bigger story here today is that this house is full of absolute stunning details. And we've invited the architect, Brent Kendall, to join us today so that we could see this home through the eyes of the architect. And in fact, Brent is right here. Brent, welcome. Hi, Renee. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you. All right, so I know I told you this is one of my favorite houses and you're so humble, but it's spectacular and the details are incredible. So excited for you to walk us through. So just tell us a little bit about just some of the raw materials used in this house. Well, um, this is a house that was really designed to kind of be of the site, feel of the site, look like it really belongs here. Um, it was a really great opportunity for us and we wanted to make the most of that. So we used rammed earth uh, construction, which is earth right from the site, um, to build up the walls and then in my you know, feeling is it, it kind of uh, instills kind of the spirit of the site. And, and you get that kind of canyon-like wall kind of uh, feel. So you have that texture. Um, in the front foyer here, what you see is a, um, a satin etched glass at the front entry. Um, the reasoning for that is obviously you can see the beautiful glow that it lets in, but more importantly, and why I like to use it, uh, they come up, they see this, this glow from inside here. They have no idea what's behind it. Once the door is open and they're allowed inside the house, then they look in this beautiful atrium space, which to me is a very Arizona thing uh, on a lot of levels, um, but it's, it's, it's a surprise. Nobody expects to walk in a front door and see a beautiful ironwood tree in a landscaped area in the center the house. I love these natural rammed earth walls. There's a lot of texture in this house, really, especially with the TNG in the ceiling. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a, uh, a Douglas fir uh, tongue and groove custom mill uh, with a light sand blast etched to it to bring out the grain in the wood. It is a special ceiling. And so I hope everybody can see the angle of this. So can you talk to us a little bit about the shape and design of the ceiling? This is one sure. of the most signature things of this house. Well, there's there's a lot that goes into the ceiling and we're kind of known for doing fairly dramatic roofs uh, of, of, of homes. In the evening when the sun, we're getting pretty close to this, when the sun is setting and hitting the underside of this and you get the underside of it that kind of rolls and so forth and, and you get the shade and shadow, it actually looks like the underside of like a, a thunderhead in the monsoon season, you know, it, it's, it's really spectacular. So so that's kind of the metaphor to the sky and the metaphor to the land. And then tell us a little bit about where this house got its name. Well, well, you know, as you can see, you, can, yeah. you see the, the light actually dancing on the materials right now. And um, we try to give all of our homes um, some sort of name that's descriptive of them rather than client names, because most of our clients want to keep their, their privacy. And um, literally was here one day, walking around the corner, saw the light kind of dancing on the wall, just as it is right now. And it was just like one of those epiphanies, like that's the name of the house, it's Dancing Light. And it just made all the sense in the world because we strategically located the swimming pool to do just that. Um, but I never thought of Dancing Light necessarily as the metaphor, but I always wanted to reflect the light into the house. Dark areas. Yeah, it really, I, I've been in this house multiple times and whenever I come in, I just have this ah, feeling of zen. So that must be it. I, I think that's a lot of it. And it's definitely a house that's designed to work with nature. And, and there's no question, when you come into this room, you know, everybody asks, well, what was the inspiration of the house? It's like, you're yeah. looking at it. <laughs> I, you know, how could you not put a house here? And well, I shouldn't say, how could you not? Because most of the houses didn't, but this house does. Yeah. Uh, how could you not just take the roof and lift it up as if the mountain itself was pulling the lid up saying, look at me. All of you it, know? yeah. Yeah, I and mean, that's why the owner bought this lot. And so we, to me, that's what we want to celebrate here in the desert. Yes, absolutely. So one of the things that's really special about this house is there was quite a dream team that was involved here. So we had Desert Star Construction, David Michael Miller as the interior designer, GB2 is our landscape architect, mm -hmm. obviously you being the architect, we've got a beautiful ball top kitchen here. Mm -hmm. um, really a great team to put this house together. Yeah, you know, it, it really was. And the, the craftsmen as well, too. I mean, they were all a kind of a dream team. I think Desert Star brought 
the best of the best people to this house. They had worked with the owner on at least three or four homes previous, so they knew exactly kind of what their standards were and what they wanted, and they brought the best of the best to this project. Yeah, that's great. So what I really love about this house is how this really exemplifies a true indoor-outdoor living experience. Yeah, I mean, obviously the way the house is designed is kind of like a large pavilion roof that kind of sits over this this uh, this covered area. It's open into the atrium on one side, open to the view and the backyard on this side. And then, of course, we have the 16-foot tall automated doors that uh, open all the way uh, pocketing against that wall there so you can you know completely blur the line or eliminate the line between indoors and outdoors. Yeah, and actually even the swimming pool looks like just a little lake at the house. Yeah. I mean, it's got such a very, again, natural Zen feeling and then all this great natural area around it. It feels like you're just here by yourself. So as we enter the owner suite, this room really has a more intimate, cozy feel to it. Yeah, yeah, it does. I mean, a, a lot of the times what we do in, in the design of our homes is we make the master suite almost a mini-me, if you will, of the main dramatic space. In this case, the, the great room space that we were in previously. So this has the same ceiling, same details, but at a cozier feel. Yeah, I feel the ceiling down. And tell me about this fireplace. I love this. I wanted to come up with a way that we could create the animation uh, that people enjoy from a fire, um, but more year round. So kind of playing with the whole dancing light theme, the fireplace is right on the other side of yeah. the swimming pool and the light bounces off the water and comes through animating the fireplace itself and the back wall behind you. Yeah, it's beautiful light that's coming through here. And so tell me a little bit about in the owner suite bath. So there's a lot, it really opens up to a big garden area. It, it, it does. I mean, again, this house is all about connecting with nature wherever you go. and, and and uh, we just think that's an important thing is the way that we live to be connected with nature and better health and all those good things. Um, so when you're in the bathroom, there's a, the, the whole wall is, uh, exterior wall is one giant slider. Half of it is the shower and half of it is the tub. And beyond that is this private garden that's surrounded again by that satin etch glass and a, a custom uh, screen wall that we created out there. So Brent, tell me a little bit about these guest rooms. Well, uh, the, the guest rooms are designed to be kind of a, a mirror image of each other. Um, this room, which is the, the Western uh, bedroom, actually has, it's angled so that it focuses and frames in the peak of Camelback Mountain. Whereas the adjacent bedroom, which is again, just a mirror image of it, it's angled so that it focuses on the praying monk of Camelback Mountain. Both bathrooms actually open up into a glass enclosed, a frosted glass enclosed garden space so that when you're standing in the shower, which is floor to ceiling glass, it's as if you're standing outside in the garden with a view of Camelback Mountain, but you still have total privacy. So Brent, one of the things I think about is this is such a beautiful home, but it just feels so warm and, and livable to me. Well, you know, one of the things is we're, you know, as architects, we're modernists. Um, and modernists get a bad rap sometimes for designing homes and structures that people think are cool and unfriendly. And we really kind of go out of our way to kind of show people that modern architecture is really about designing for the site, for the lifestyle, the way that people live, and designing homes that feel comfortable to live in. Because um, after all, homes are really designed for people to, to live in. It's all about living. So it's not about collecting some great piece of architecture. It's about kind of living your life amongst nature. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this tour of this modern masterpiece. I quite enjoyed my time in this house and I sure hope you did too. So I want to remind you that you can find us at your iconic life on all of our social media channels. Check us out on YouTube and just know that we're doing this video series, Iconic Estates, every single month. If you want to follow on with more that we're doing, check us out at iconiclife.com. Thanks for joining us today and I'll see you next month.